Good morning to you all, gentlemen and ladies in the field of the media, be it the print, television, online, or radio, we are most grateful that you honored our invitation at such a short notice. We are very certain that with this press conference and release, the general public and the people of Osu in particular will be well informed about the true status quo of the Osu Traditional Council area. If you would notice, quite recently, there have been developments of chieftaincy usurpation within the Osu Traditional Council area amidst the litigation at the, at the Greater Accra Regional House of Chiefs in Dodoa. The reason we have called you here today is to emphasize and make it clear to the general public and the people of Osu, without prejudice, that there is only one Klote Ulomo, Numo Noe Osikan III, who is the Osu Nadu Klote Ulomo. Any other person apart from him is an imposter. The Osu Traditional Council and the office of the Osu Klote Ulomo have noticed that there is an individual who wishes to be called and known by the name Ulomo Boni Numo Noi Osikan Peneku II, and another who also styles himself as the Osu Ashinte Jaseche, called Ninote Ometo VII, all of Osu Ashinte Quarter parading themselves as the caretakers and overlords of the Osus too. This is very pathetic. They do not have any capacity whatsoever. They are just troublemakers, nothing more or less. The only Clote Ulomo who is known and gazetted resides at the Osu Clote Shrine, where we are seated now. And since two 2018, till date, he has been performing all the customary rites that precede the, Omoho Fest, the Osu Omoho Festival celebration and the Osu Ashinte Jaseche in the person of Ni Norte Otutuche II, who as well was gazetted since 2019 and also performs his traditional rites in the same manner. We are the eldest and accredited Jase of the Osustu from all the quarters and even stretching to our villages such as Kotobabi, Roman Ridge, Abelenkpe, and Jowulu, to name but a few. Since the demise of the distinguished fellow, Ni Okwe Kinkan Dowona De Sith, Osu Manche, and President of the Osu Traditional Council, and the Greater Accra Regional House of Chiefs, Dodoa, a king whose achievements was and is still unmatched by all standards. During his reign, he ensured that Osu had its own traditional council. He renovated the Osu Manche Palace, established the Osu Manche Development Fund for the needy but brilliant students. Under his tenure, the Osu Manche Agbona was also done now being used to organize events. He empowered the youth base, not with money, but with ideas. He was the first ever Osu Manche to rise in the scheme of chieftaincy within the greater Accra region, moving all the way to the National House of Chiefs, Kumasi, being ranked there as a ranking member. He put a new facelift to the Osu Royal Cemetery, there are many others that we can mention, but for time. In actual fact, we can go on and on and on highlighting his achievements, but for obvious reasons, yet the purpose for today cannot be overemphasized. Fare thee well, Nikin Kandowuna. A paragraph for you is worth the while. Ladies and gentlemen, one would have thought that after his demise and departure, Osu would have been better, but alas, 
it is quite obvious that he was rather the shining star to have taken Osu to the sky. However, God knows best, and he is, in, is vindicated indeed. In order for Osu to make progress, and in the wisdom of the Osu King Kawijase, a statutory declaration was made to make the Osu Klote Ulomo, Numo Noe Osikan III, the acting Osu Manche. This was necessitated due to the chieftaincy litigation at Dodua. Currently, as we speak, the Osu stool is vacant, pending the determination of the case at Dodua. It is common knowledge that in the absence of the paramount chief and the Mankralu, the Osu Nade Klote Ulomo acts in their stead. Since by Osu custom and tradition, the community is built on the Manche, Mankalo, and the Wulom. It was not in vain that the Jase and elders of the Osu stool therefore made the Wulomo a regent. We are by this press conference notifying the general public that any group of people or company or individuals, including government officials, the courts, who deal with this imposter called Shipidudo, also known as Ulomo Boni Numo Noe Osikan Kpeniku II, as the Osu Klote Ulomo, do so at their own liability and detriment. There are court documents, in actual fact, orders from the court that prohibit him from this claim that he is the, Osu, he is the Klote Ulomo. His recent media agenda to deceive the people of Osu and the general public will not stand. The general public should therefore note that any individual or group of persons that transact any business with him concerning Osu's two lands do so at their own risk. All land matters are being handled by the Osu Customary Land Secretariat an establishment brought into being both by the government of the Republic of Ghana and the Osu stool. Thank you all for coming and we wish you well as we prepare for this year's Omawa Festival. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>